Right, well we've got our garbered planks. We made the pattern out of plywood and glue sticks. Drop that onto our stock of Canadian spruce. Cut out a pair of planks. They're reasonably accurate. They're, they're a copy of the pattern. But because it was thin plywood that we, we bent and twisted up into shape, when we actually do the same thing with our spruce, it's not going to quite twist and bend the same. So there may be a, a bit of fitting to do afterwards. But in order to, to get our garbage planks up into place, it's too much twist just to clamp it up and clamp, clamp, clamp. The plank will just split. So in order to soften the timber so that we can ease it up into shape, we need to steam it. Um, it's steaming timber has been around for centuries. It softens the cells of the timber, makes them more flexible and allows the wood to bend more. The general rule for steaming timber is an hour of steaming for every inch of thickness. Because our planks are three-eighths of an inch thick, 20 minutes steaming should be ample for those. We've got the plank in pretty much the right position fore and aft on the boat because we, when we had our pattern in place we marked where the front mould came, We've transferred that mark onto our plank and so we're happy with the fore and aft position. It's just a matter now of steaming the plank for 20 minutes and then gently clamping it and easing it up into place and then leaving it overnight to settle. We can pretty much steam the plank in place. We can leave the clamps on on the moulds further aft and just by sliding this rather crude little box over the plank, seal the end with a cloth and we're using a wallpaper stripper as a steam generator so we can just stick the steamy end of the pipe into this box. Because this box is a little heavy it just pays to have a little bit of support so that we're not twisting our plank down out of the way too much. So we can just hook that up there. Stick the end of our wallpaper stripper in there. And we just let that boil away and uh, come back in 20 minutes. Back to our plank, it's been steaming away there for 15 minutes or so. So we'll whip the, turn the steamer off, whip the box off and just see how supple it is. Now the one potential problem here is that the plank is going to kink around this mould because it's held behind that. So just to try and ease the strain a little bit, a little piece of old planking stock there that's tapered away. Will just help to sort of feather out the, the stresses and strains on it really. It's 
It's always a job to know how the plank is going to react. And where it needs to be clamped. Just need a clamp with a longer reach to reach in over the plank just to ease that lower edge up a fraction. We don't want to over strain it, but that's a reasonable fit there in the rebate. I'm quite happy down there. I may just get another clamp behind this mould. just to make sure the plank has that bend in it. And we need a, a longer reach clamp for that as well. There we go, we'll let that one cook for 15 minutes or so. You may notice that we haven't cut any Gerald's in our plank yet. Uh, we'll do that when we come to fit the plank. The steaming sometimes swells the grain on the surface of the plank, so the plank will be off the boat. We'll get sanded up, cleaned up get the Gerald's put on the ends and then fitted back finally. If we shaved away, if we cut the rebate on the top edge of the plank at this stage before we steamed it, then the chances are we, we managed to split it off while we were busy clamping and pushing and shoving. in place. Now we're going to have to release that forward clamp the other side. See the plank's still under quite a bit of tension there. Fairly quickly, the plank begins to cool down as soon as the steam is off it. We just really need to try and get this front corner up there. These F cramps are good because they're 
their reach, but their downside is they don't have a lot of travel, so they aren't that good for moving something a great distance. But they're good for the final just tightening something in. This plank doesn't seem to fit the rebate quite as well as the plank the other side. It may just be that it, I think it just needs tapping forward. But the important thing at the moment is to just get it twisted up into place without too much trauma. Possibly one clamp to do both planks would be good if they're going to play the game. I might just chisel out a little bit more of that rebate. That's actually looking pretty good lower down. This only needs a little shaving here and there to get the plank really sitting at home, but uh, we'll just get this section past the mould clamped up if we can find a long enough clamp. Well, I think that's uh, looking quite good.